Welcome to our informational session about the Henry County Small Business Restart and Nonprofit Assistance Programs. My name is Kimberly Monist, and I'm the Grant Administrator for Henry County Government. Let's get started with a bit of housekeeping first. This is a grant opportunity to provide relief funding for small businesses and the individuals served by nonprofits that have been negatively impacted by COVID-19. While this grant does not have to be repaid, it is not permitted to be awarded to startup businesses or to businesses that may be struggling for reasons unrelated to COVID-19, such as an initial lack of capital, unsuccessful marketing, or an inability to compete in the marketplace. Additionally, nonprofit applications must provide direct services to Henry County citizens. This grant is not intended to reimburse for overhead expenses outside of support for direct services programs. The online application posted on August 19th and will continue until funds are exhausted. Application links are located here on the county website. I want to call your attention to the small business application first. However, all nonprofit applicants should watch this part of the video too, as most of the requirements are similar or the same. Following the small business application overview, I will highlight need to know items on the nonprofit application that are different. So, back to the small business application. When you click the small business link from the main page and then click the green bar, it will take you here. It is imperative that you carefully read all of the instructions to determine if this is an appropriate opportunity for your small business and if your potential reimbursable expenses would be included under eligible uses. While all of the eligibility requirements throughout the application instructions and upload section are very important, your ability to show a negative impact from COVID-19 in the data you provide is the foremost component of this opportunity. Let's highlight a few of the eligibility requirements related to financial documentation. Please note that you may feel free to redact personal information such as social security numbers and children from your tax documents. We are only interested in establishing that your business was a viable entity in the previous tax year and proof that you filed your taxes. The Henry County Small Business Restart and Nonprofit Assistance Program is funded with taxpayer dollars at the local level, so it is essential that your small business or nonprofit provide proof of other levels of governmental compliance. An income statement is a report explaining your revenue and expenses for a given time. The review committee will need to see these numbers on a monthly basis for both 2019 and 2020 to determine the negative impact of COVID-19 on your small business. You can use your own accounting software, an online template, or an Excel or similar sheet you come up with on your own. Please make sure that the data you provide matches the narrative that you will provide later in the application. Please note, although we do ask the minority, female, and veteran-owned statuses of our applicant businesses, all applications are reviewed in the order in which they are received and are vetted on the quality of the application alone. The two text boxes located in the next section are for narratives to explain how your business was adversely affected by COVID-19 in words and dollars. It's important to provide as much pertinent information you can about your small business's situation for the review committee to evaluate. They may be unfamiliar with the business itself and will certainly be unfamiliar with your business's financial state. These text boxes provide the best opportunity for you to tell your story in your words and provide corresponding financial data in a way that shows your true need. The next section is where you upload all of the requested documents. We only allow PDF documents, so please make sure that you convert your formats before attempting to upload or you may get frustrated. You'll notice that there are asterisks next to most of the upload section. That means this document is required and you will not be able to submit your application without it. Here's some guidance on some of the required items. There is a link to a blank IRS Form W-9, which can be found in the instructions. This is a form to provide your correct taxpayer identification number to Henry County, who is required to file an information return with the IRS to report income paid to you. We cannot pay you without this. Tax information. We require the front page and the signature page. You may redact personal information, such as your children. The income statement should show revenue and expenses for both 2019 and 2020 in a monthly format, January, February, March, April, etc. All months can be in columns on the same landscape formatted sheet. The print will be small with many columns, but that's usually okay. You can create these documents in Excel, in QuickBooks, or other software, or using an online template. 
As a small business, when you file taxes, you must file one of the following schedules along with it, 1120, 1120S, or 1040 Schedule C. Both C and S corporations must file a federal income tax return. C corporations use Form 1120 to calculate their taxes due. S corporations use Form 1120S as an information return. A Schedule C on a 1040 return is a profit or loss from business form. Consult your tax or financial advisor if you need help with the required upload. If your small business received PPP, Payment Protection Program funding, you'll need to indicate this in a simple statement that you sign affirming that the amount you received was less than $150,000. Now let's take a look at the nonprofit application for a few items of interest. Key to eligibility for nonprofits is proof that they are currently providing and have a demonstrated history of providing the service, not looking to provide the service for the first time as a Henry County funded new program. The actual service delivery model can be a new component, but you'll have to show capability and competency in administering the same scope and size program, or if enhancing an existing program, a clear delineation of, we served 300 last year, but with your help we can serve 500 because there is a need. For small businesses, independent contractors, or self-employed persons. Numbers 4, 5, 8, and 9 seem to be the ones with the most questions. Since we've already discussed income statement for the small business application, I'll spend some time on the Form 990 and compilation review or audit. Some type of the Form 990 is required of all nonprofit applicants. It could be a regular 990 or a 990 EZ. If your nonprofit is an organization that normally has $50,000 or more in gross receipts and that is required to file an exempt organizational information return, or a 990N if your nonprofit is an organization that normally has less than $50,000 in gross receipts and is not required to file an exempt organization information return. Keep in mind that if you submit that your gross receipts are normally less than $50,000, please don't make a budget request for $50,000 or close to it. This grant is not meant to fully fund your nonprofit. It is meant to assist Henry County citizens in need due to a negative impact of COVID-19. To that end, let's discuss the compilation, review, or audit. A compilation is a basic summary of your nonprofit's financial statements written by a CPA using data provided by your nonprofit. Unlike a review or an audit, this method provides no assurance. There are no tests performed, and the auditor does not examine any internal financial controls. A financial review is a limited examination performed by a CPA, reporting on the plausibility of your financial statements. A review provides limited assurance. An audit is a very thorough examination of the financial records for your nonprofit, which determines if the information correctly reflects the financial position at the given time. An audit is much more critical, systematic process that requires detailed testing, such as examining your nonprofit's accounting records and looking through financial statements. The auditor may even interview employees within your nonprofit to survey internal controls. As a result, the results of an audit lead to the highest level of assurance that can be provided. Most small nonprofits at the local level do not pay for a formal audit. You may self-perform a compilation or review to satisfy this requirement. I hope this information has been helpful and will allow you to submit quality applications that clearly explain the negative impact that COVID-19 has had on your small business, or if you're a nonprofit, how you intend to expand or enhance your existing community direct services to benefit citizens in need. Henry County Leadership is eager to award Small Business Restart and Nonprofit Assistance funding to those applicants who will be good stewards of taxpayer funding to restart their small business or directly serve Henry County citizens.